welcome to JAGPC, second one, episode four. This week's theme is Decades Week. Courtney took her pass this week, and Eva and Joss Elizabeth dropped out of the competition. So, this week's this week we have a guest judge. Hi. The guest judge is my nana. She'll be helping me judge the photos this week. So, let's see the photos. Okay, this is Gwen. Yeah. And she is from 1990s. 1990s? Uh-huh, I think so. And she is dressed in a tie-dye shirt and Converse sneakers. Cool, Gwen. Like her gym shoes, she's got on like black Converse sneakers. They are really, really 90s thing. And she's got an American Girl bag that over her shoulder. Yeah, I really like this photo, Gwen. I think you did an amazing job. I just wish you could have added more 90s things in the photo, but you did an amazing job. I love her tie-dye clothing and the background and all the stickers. You did an amazing job this week. Next, we have Marie. She was from the year of 1850. I love how her hat is not on her head, but she is holding it. I think that gives it more of um, a, like, you know, it pops in the photo. And then I love that the background is blurred and everything. What do you think, Nana? I like her boots. Her boots are like white little spats. Um, very nice. Yeah, you did an amazing job this week, Marie. Just here. Okay. This one is from the 80s? Yes. And she has her blonde, long, blonde hair and an off-to-the-side ponytail, which is really, I like that. And I also like the purple and green together. Yeah, it's very 80s, and I love how all the colors are all, you know, so vibrant, and they're all cool colors. Amazing job this week, Kira. Next up, we have V, and she did the 50s. I love how she's roller skating, and I love the black and white. The dyno looks amazing. I think you did an amazing job this week. She is very cute, and I like I like all the old dolls in your picture too. This is Mia, and she is from the eighties. Um, her outfit's very eighties. The only thing I would say is I wish um her eyes were a bit brighter. Uh, and I think that's it. It's a little grainy, but that could also be that I screenshot it. But what do you think? I think, just like her t-shirt, she is really cool. She's got a crop top top on, and the jeans have the yeah overlapping, just like they did in the 80s. That's so cool. Well, she's from the 60s. She's got her hair in that 60s flip. And she's got a red polka dot dress. Yeah, I think she looks amazing. Only thing I would say is that it's a little bit bright, but that's it still looks amazing. And um, yeah, that's it. Amazing job, Jocelyn. Next up, we have Pepper. She did the 50s. This looks amazing. I love all the butterflies and the editing. It doesn't even look too edited though. It looks amazing. The only thing I would say is that I wish Pepper was more the main focus of the photo. Um, what do you think? I like the little girl in the pink hat with the pink cape on. And I love the old car. And I too do like the butterflies. Yeah. It looks amazing, Pepper. This is Josefina, and she did the 1800s. She didn't pick a certain year, but she wanted to do a mystery scene. I see the person in the background other doll is uh, like the mysterious person I guess and Josefina I love her hairstyle and what she's wearing I don't have any critiques for this photo what do you think Nana um it's it's got a brick backdrop and the little mysterious person is leaning against it and it's a nice photo yeah amazing job Next up, we have Joss Kendrick, and she wanted to do the 1910s. Uh, I love 
like this is in black and white and I love her dress and that her horse is there. Um, I like that her head's turned away. It looks amazing. What do you think, Mira? Uh, she's got a cute little dress on. I think it's a great picture. Go. This is Luciana and she's from the 19, 1900s and her dress I don't know if somebody crocheted that, but it is absolutely beautiful, her dress. It's all in pink crochet. Very, very nice. I like that the black background is blurred, and I also like her dress. Amazing job, Luciana. This next photo comes from Marianne Larkin, and she did the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. I just wish the 70s photos had a little bit more going on, but it, but it still looks amazing. Uh, the 50s photo, she's got like on a belt poodle skirt, really cute. Um, the 60s, she's got her hair long, cute. And the 70s is nice. Yeah, all these photos look amazing. Great job, Marilyn Larkin. This next photo comes from Mary Ellen. I wish she were sitting upright because I can see her underwear, but I still love this photo. What do you think, Nana? I love the wallpaper behind her. It's very mod, and her skirt is like a tie-dye. Yeah. Would you say that's a tie-dye? And she's got a Pac-Man pillow, and her she's tuned into her Walkman. Mm -hmm. Very 80s. First place goes to Z. Second place goes to Gwen. Third place goes to Marie. Fourth place goes to Luciana. Fifth place goes to Pepper. Sixth place goes to Josefina. Seventh place goes to Marilyn Larkin. Eighth place goes to Kira. Ninth, ninth place goes to Jocelyn. Tenth place goes to Mia. Eleventh place goes to Joss Kendrick. 12th place goes to Ariana. And last but not least, 13th place goes to Marielle. Amazing job this week. Um, um, th this week we have behind the scenes videos. No one is also eliminated because two people dropped out. So this is the behind the scenes footage of the everyone's photos. <laughs> something jewelry would wear because like i did the i'm deciding to go with the 70s so um yeah i think i'm gonna use these lights that are flashing maybe to like a yellow color or orange or something because i'm trying to kind of base it off of jewelry or something but anyways her hair is in a ponytail and i decided to put these hairs down and she's just gonna be sitting on her bed i have to move around some stuff like probably don't have that there this part isn't going to be showing so i don't really have to move that but this poster up here probably needs to be taken off it says be a pineapple so i'll just take that off and maybe move this lantern just in case that's in like the edge of the picture and here's her mask so now i'm just going to take the picture well i have to turn on like some certain lighting but yeah Let's do that. So it's actually really dark in my room. Like this phone has really good quality. Like it can see it's like literally dark in my dollhouse. So anyways, I don't really know what the 70s looks like. I'm not really good at decades, but 
I'm just gonna add this other towel that Julie has. This one. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out something she's gonna be doing from Julie. Okay, so I decided to give her a headband. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell from the picture, but um, I'm gonna get another doll to like be her friend because this picture is gonna be really boring if she's the only one sitting here. So when you see Scarlett's shirt, like, you know, if you see the picture, it has a peace sign on it. It's actually an American Girl shirt, but American Girl was not around back then, so I colored over it and drew a peace sign. So that's why it doesn't look that real, but anyways, I hope you like my picture. Thank you so much for everyone for submitting their photos this week. Next week's theme is going to be Art Week. So you can make a photo of your doll into a painting or just a doll painting. Thanks so much for watching this video. Your photos are due next Saturday, 11.59 p.m. I can't wait to see them. And bye!